Greetings, Grandfather. Now, here is an issue that needs to be addressed. Many of you will fall in love and uh, give so much of yourself to the other person. It will feel as if there are times when you are depleted and uh, the other person will come home perhaps or you'll be with them and then you'll feel complete and fulfilled for various reasons of course and of course you love them but this or that goes uh, uh, bad things don't turn out the way you would have liked and that person goes out of your life and you feel not only devastated and grief-stricken but you feel as if physically now this is not a thought you feel as if a portion of you has gone has literally left and there's a big piece of you missing I'm here to say that in a way that's absolutely true when you invest all your love in another person and have no love left for yourself or others for that matter but at the very least you literally take all of your love and invest it in that other person what happens very often is when they do go out of your life because of a breakup or because perhaps of some thing that happens in the flow of life then it can take years to feel whole and complete again I'm not here to try and tell you how to love somebody else how to share your love with somebody else that's not why I'm here this is about what to do to heal a broken heart this is what I recommend when you invest that much of your love including the love you have for yourself including respecting yourself and your own needs so that you are totally self-sacrificing to the other person what you need to do when they go out of your life for any reason is to do something that I've taught here before but I want to teach it again this is something to begin for those of you who have not done it take your hands like this and place them over your heart all right or over the center of your chest you can do it like this or you can do it like this either way whichever feels best to you I recommend putting your left hand on your chest first but you can put your right hand there first if that feels better leave them there for a moment try to make sure that the ringer is off on the phone and that for the best of your ability you will not be disturbed so try to do it at some quiet time of the day if you live in a very noisy neighborhood it's perfectly alright to use earplugs if you want to do that but if you don't think it'll bother you then just try and do it the following way try to feel not only your hands touching your body but your body being touched by your hands alright so first you put your physical awareness into your hands then transfer that physical awareness into your chest so that you can feel your hands there there's a reason then focusing on your chest try to feel or notice a physical warmth an actual heat that you can detect there if you feel that heat go into it and feel it more for some of you you will be able to do this quickly and easily others it will take time but invest in doing this because there is a great and valuable reason to do that that heat you feel is the physical evidence of loving yourself and it will restore your heart much quicker 
than if you do nothing. You don't have to wait to have your heart broken to do this. You can do this at any time because it is the foundation for many other things that I have taught here. But as a foundation, it can help to bring about much greater comfort and ease in your life. It can even be used after a hard day, even if you're still in your relationship, even if no loved one has passed out of your relationship for any reason. At a quiet time, with the ringers off on the phone, do that as I recommended, and stay in that heat as long as you can. That heat, that loving of yourself, will literally push all kinds of stuff out of your body. And what I mean by that is slings and arrows from the day, meaning things that have happened to upset you. It is a restoration. It will help you to feel better. And I can assure you, it will help to heal your broken heart. Good life.